po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tanji. Welcome to Kababayan today. We get to meet parents of students that have participated in the summer program of FCS, or the Filipino Cultural School. Kasama natin si Eleanor at si Cindy. And Cindy has brought her sons, yes. both her sons here. Uh, say hello, guys. Hi, I'm Taylor. And this is... I'm Cameron. Okay, and they are part of the FCS this year for the summer program. Cindy, talk to me about why you wanted your children to be a part of this this summer. Well, um, I want my children to have a sense of being Filipino. They are half Caucasian. So being involved in the program has really given them a sense of culture. Um, whereas before they didn't really know too much about being Filipino, now they can really say that they're proud to be Filipino. Wonderful. Okay, and uh, Eleanor, talk yes. to me about your children participating in the summer program for Filipino Cultural School. Okay, I've got three children participating, mm -hmm. uh, Malachi, Elijah, and Anaya. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been with FCS probably since uh, when the former uh, teachers uh, put it together. So that was back in 2009, 2010. And then we took a year break and then we came back when uh, Paolo and, and Zarina took over. Um, so my kids have been part of it uh, for a pretty long time and they look forward to it every summer, but it's kind of the same thing. I was first generation, so I was born here. Um, so while we were growing up, we had to respond in English all the time. And so I understand Tagalog, my husband also understands. Uh, but we never sp spoke back to our parents in Tagalog. Mm -hmm. So with this, our kids get a little taste of it. They can you know, get to know some phrases, get to know some questions so they can answer a little bit in Tagalog. So uh, it's, it's more of a culture thing. I mean, they know about Filipino parties and this and that, but, but we want them to mo know more about the history. And right, which, a deeper, a, a deeper, deeper understanding oh, of yeah. what it means to be Filipino in America. And I am a parent as well. So I, I understand that, you know, the older generation didn't really tell us about our heritage, right? Because they were busy working. Yes. And, and so now we as younger Filipino Americans that have children, we have an opportunity to expose our children to this. Uh, Cindy, share with me the value of a school like the Filipino Cultural School. What I really love about the school uh, the teachers, the volunteers, they really instill a really great sense of being polite and the old-fashioned Filipino values, the cuyas and the ates, and, and uh, just the way that they treat the kids. They have fun, they learn about their culture, and they really look forward to going back because of the volunteers. Right. It really is a family, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's become a family. And who wouldn't want their younger children to have ates and kuyas who are just like them, Filipinos here in America, you know? This is how we create community and we create culture together. So I want to ask the boys, what is the best part so far of your summer at FCS? Well, the best part of, of FCS that I like is the music class because I really want to be a guitarist and singer when I grow up, so I get to learn how to play guitar. Okay, and you have a kuya that's helping you with that, right, in the music program. What about you? My favorite part of S FCS has to be that everybody is so close, and it's like you're one big family, and everybody will help you with any of your problems or anything that you need. Okay, great. Uh, my hope is for FCS to one day be available all year round, right? Because a lot of other cultures, especially in Los Angeles, have their own schools. But with a big population of Filipino Americans in LA, bakit walang skwelahan para sa mga Pilipino? You know, this is a question that we ask time and time again, and it's up to you the parents of these young Filipino Americans growing up uh, to make sure that we expose them to our culture so that they understand that it's not just adobo and pancit parties, yes. right? Okay, so I know that there's a big graduation happening. All the kids have worked so hard to be able to put up a showcase. And we want to invite you, mga kababayan, if you have children, if you want them to see other children and what they've been able to do, check out the FCS graduation. Cindy, will you tell Tell us about it. It will be uh, this Saturday, August 15th, at St. Bernard's Church in Bellflower. And it's a really great graduation where the kids get to show off their dancing, their singing, and they do little skits, and they get to be in the traditional Filipino costumes. So it's, it's just a really great 
way to showcase what they learned the entire summer. That's right. Okay, Eleanor, can you invite the people out there who just like you are, you know, parents of younger Filipinos? It's up to us, isn't it? It is. And I definitely um, invite everyone to come out. Uh, we actually invited Cindy, and so her boys um, came and joined our families. Uh, and we've also had some relatives come and join. So we invite everyone to come. Um, it's, it's a good time. And it's fun to see kids see other kids involved. And it makes the younger ones want to be a part of it too. So we look forward to graduation day every year. And so we invite everyone to come out and join us. That's right. So if you go to this, tell your friends because it's up to us to sort of spread the word around and create a buzz about, you know, these Filipino kids really understanding what that means to be, you know, Philam. I mean, there's this big question of, well, what does that mean, right? Mm -hmm. Well, is it just the gear? Is it the food? <laughs> it goes beyond that. And I'm sure you guys are learning a lot, a lot of uh, things about our culture, like the dances, some songs, right? And you said you love the music program as well. So I'd like to invite everybody that's this Saturday, please head out. I do know that it's free. Yeah. Is it free? There is a charge, a minimal charge for adults and kids. Uh, right. But very minimal. Yes, because this is a nonprofit yes, organization. So thank you so much to uh, Eleanor and to Cindy and of course to your boys for being here. Pagbalik po natin, uh, makikita niyo po ang mga volunteers ng FCS as they sing to us the theme song of the Filipino Cultural School this year. Music